Well, there's a big Pac-12 matchup coming into this weekend at Rice Eccles Stadium between Utah and ASU. And when it was all said and done, Utah came away with the 34-18 victory. The Sun Devil source, Chris Cartman. I'm Jordan Ham for Sports 360 AZ. And Chris, there was a lot to like about ASU, specifically with the special teams. Yeah, phenomenal special teams performance. It's been trending in that direction, right, the last couple weeks. And then this game, they had a phenomenal performance. You had the 100-yard touchdown return by Tim White. Uh, Zane Gonzalez did a great job on kickoffs. Everything was in the end zone. Matt Hawk was great until the end of the game. And then you had, of course, um, a really uh, strong performance on their coverage units. On the punt coverage was, was also tremendous. Zane Gonzalez had three field goals on, on his three attempts. So phenomenal job. But then at the end, they had the breakdown. Uh, you had Dejavon Hayes. Uh, catches the ball, fair catch at the five-yard line. He should have let that ball go. That should have been in the end zone. Then ASU has to punt. Uh, the punt is a shank by Hawk. His first really bad one of the night. Utah is able to score the, 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 the touchdown that seals the game. And really the offense struggled a lot. 18 points, zero from the offense. And it seems like they were kind of getting hitting their stride the past couple of weeks, but they come into Utah and really struggle. I think they really only had one drive that resulted in a field goal where they had a couple nice catches for Devin Lucian and they moved the chains a few times. Other than that, it was almost nothing. You look at their yards per play in the game, it was like 3.6 yards per play. That's that's just not going to get it done. They didn't establish the run. This is a run play action pass team philosophically. That's what Todd Graham likes to say. And, you know, sure, not having Demario Richard hurts. But Kalen Balaj, the guy they got to get more. They the, off, the senior-led offensive line. They have three returning seniors in the interior of the offensive line. They lost the battle in the trenches to Utah. You need that, especially in a hostile environment on the road. Utah really has a stranglehold on the Pac-12 South. So where do you see the Sun Devils kind of getting their motivation? And is this something that Utah has locked down for the Pac-12 South? It's not over yet. And it's, it's so funny because four years ago, uh, we came here in the same week of the year. Uh, and ASU beat Utah to go up 3-0 in the Pac-12 South. Everyone thought that ASU was in great shape. Uh, you had three other teams in the Pac-12 South that was winless. ASU had the tiebreaker over Utah. T they bottom falls out of ASU. They collapse, and, and Dennis Erickson ends up getting fired after a 3-0 start, okay? So while Utah now has a, a, a really great positioning, it's not over. Utah has to go to USC. They could, you know, they could lose a couple more games easily. ASU is going to have a hard time because with two losses, they don't hold the tiebreaker edge in a head-to-head -head tiebreaker. But there's a possibility of a three-way tie. Different things can happen. So it's not over yet if ASU is able to kind of win out and put itself in a position for maybe it can get it, find its way into a three-way weird sort of situation. So the number four team in the country flexes its muscle at home in Salt Lake City as they beat the Sun Devils 34-18. For the Sun Devil sources, Chris Cartman, I'm Jordan Hamma, Sports 360 AZ.